Hi everyone, I'm Tom from Nod to the Strange, and today I am trying out Rune 2. It's um, it's a Viking RPG, but not <laughs> not Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, so it's quite yeah, it's, it's quite a sort of um, brave move putting out a game <laughs> and re releasing it at the exact same time as the latest Assassin's Creed. But um, it sounds really good. This is Rune 2 Decapitation Edition. Uh, it was d uh, provided to me by the developers, which is really, really amazing. Um, and it seems like it, I've never heard of Rune or Rune 2. Um, I don't know why, but it seems like this one is a new version, a new like remastered version and upgraded version of Rune 2. Um, it says it has a completely new story and narrative, 250 plus new quests and side quests, 50 plus new voice acted NPCs. A uh, completely overhauled combat system and added skill tree. Sounds good. Um, so let's just jump into it. If it's if it's good, I've got no idea if it's good or not. And if it's good, this will um, probably become a Let's Play series, which would be quite fun. But we're going to try it out to begin with. So let's get started. Uh, yeah, single player. So you can see there's co-op as well. And there's also a PvP mode, which is currently in, in beta. All right, got three slots, just like uh, classic, classic 8-bit console games for some reason. <laughs> a character name, oh no, we need a Viking name, I don't know. Let's call him, let's think of something that just sounds vaguely Scandinavian. Um, how about like, oh, how about just Tor? I know that Tor, Tor may not be a Scandinavian word of any kind, but it's like a really, really old um, English or Irish word, which means castle. I like the sound of that. Oh, here we go. Ah, right, we got a whole... Oh, okay. So we're not playing as like a named character then. We can just completely pick our own unique appearance. wonder if there's a randomizer. Yeah, it looks like it. Randomized character. Oh, interesting. I like doing this. I used to spend ages in um, character creation. It's all women. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Look at that. That looks really odd. I used to spend ages in character creation, and um, now I like to start off by randomizing, really. Um, let's, uh, let's have a look. Tattoos. Yeah, oh, that's fine. Um, what's that? We got some textures popping in here. Um, this game just came out yesterday. Oh, that, that's a nice tattoo. Let's go with that. So, I don't think it's an early access game, but it seems like they are still working on certain bits of it. Uh, and this mus this moustache has got to go, really. Oh, there's only two moustaches. Let's not have one. Um, but let's have some long Thor-like hair maybe. I wonder if these kind of shaved shaved heads at the front are actually um, kind of like Viking hairstyles that they researched or something or if they just made them up. Let's go with... Oh, let's go with that actually. Yeah. Maybe blonde hair. Go with the Scandinavian look. What about beards? You can have a really long beard. Alright, let's not have a beard. Anyway, I don't want to spend too long on character creation. It seems like there's you have the same body. You can't choose your body type. Anyway, let's go with that. So here he is, Tor. Choose a difficulty. Okay. Oh, what's this? Easy. <laughs> Easy is hold W and spam left click. Normal is L2 is block, dodge and lunge. What's L2? I'm not using a controller though. And then hard is use, use of skills recommended. Let's go with normal because it's how the game, I guess, was intended to be played by the devs. Are you sure? Yes. Interesting, ominous music. No idea how the performance the is going to be. The North here tales of Ragnar Jarlson, a fierce warrior who risked all to avenge his father and stop Loki from ending the world. This is a Northern English accent. Decades, 
but the trickster broke free from the shackles that restrained him. Oh, Loki. Chaos to the Nine Realms. And now, the end of the world is upon us. Wow. Ragnarok. Midgard is torn by war, storms, and the wrath of fierce beasts. It was foretold Ragnarok would end with Loki's death. Nothing has happened as foretold. Loki has sealed himself on the Vigrid plane to avoid his fate. Awaken, warrior. Rise up from the underworld and return to the mortal realm. Wow, we were Do killed. What the gods cannot. End Ragnarok. Let nothing stand in your way. Let nothing stand in your way. Okay. Welcome. Looks mortal. nice. To a land more dead. Oh, that's Heimdall. Life. Okay. I am Heimdall, watcher of the gods and guardian of the Bifrost. You can jump as well. Your All senses the usual do control. not deceive you. You live again, though at great cost. Mortal, time is more precious than you know, so pay close attention to my directions. All right. I think everyone's familiar Your with the. Your spirit uh... is new to this body. You are disoriented. Mm, move around. Move around. Find your balance. Okay. I think everyone's kind of familiar with uh, Norse mythology now, now because of the Marvel with films, aren't weapon they? You might find in the vicinity. Here we go. Got this weapon. I'm just going to uh, fix the mouse sensitivity. Okay. That feels a bit better. All right. Got an old rusty sword. You ask how this is possible. Mortal, with the last of my power, I have plucked your soul from the depths of hell and bore hell. you across the rainbow bridge to oh. Midgard. Nice shield. Though I have no right to ask, I have nowhere else to turn. Would you help us, mortal? Would you take up the mantle of Fate's champion? Fate's and bring an champion. To I just Loki's can't take sacrilege? him seriously because he's English. <laughs> this island was once home to Wotenkeld's clan. Brave warriors, oh. favoured by the gods. You must find a good spot to craft shelter. He's a bandit. Somewhere we might discuss your fate. Craft shelter, okay. That's interesting. Defeat the archer on the hill. Here we go. I don't know the combat controls. A warm hearth is a necessary respite. There we go. Even the hardiest it seems warrior. simple enough. That was quite... That combat seems alright. Yeah, I like it. Right, reach the stockade on the hill. Here we go. So, oh look, yep, gather a harvesting tool, a wood, a work axe, it calls it. Wow, so there's crafting, possibly base building in this. I like going in blind like this. I have no idea what to expect, really. All right, build a forge. All right, missing a wood piece. All right, uh, that's fine. Work axe can harvest trees and ore deposits in one hit. Open your inventory with I. Okay. <laughs> then what? <laughs> Click and hold the work axe to equip it or drag it to the radial menu. Okay, that's fine. Middle click is radial menu. This is fine. Oh, it's already on the radial menu. That's all right. So hold middle click and select it. There we go. We've got a lot of like weird looking textures though. Are those meant to look like that? Maybe not. I'm on like medium settings for this because I have had no idea what it would be like. So do I just chop down a tree? Chop down five trees with the work axe, okay. Oh, good. It's not like your standard tree puncher game where you start off with nothing and um, have to just keep bashing trees over and over again for five minutes before one falls down. Is that going to fall off the uh, cliff? No. So that's two out of five trees. This seems pretty good. I, I'm enjoying it. I'm... I... I heard... Oh dear. That's not good. There's one there, but I don't want to fall into the sea. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna just... Can I get down there? Yeah. I heard um, the original developers kind of abandoned this game. I haven't really read up on it, but maybe they released it in a buggy state or something and then just kind of left it like that. Oh, use the work axe to mine five rocks. Okay. Well, there's some rocks over here. Oof, that is a strong axe. Wow. 
I got some iron ore. Okay, that's one out of five rocks done. Stone pieces and iron ore I'm getting from these. So, seems like, like every game, uh, it has crafting in it. What's that? Lore, the ruins of old Wotenkeld. Recipe, grand hammer of wood. The honoured and damned both be warned. For countless winters, the people of Wotenkeld have endured the ages of Ragnarok. All before you is what remains of them. Uh, okay. <laughs> it wasn't fast enough. Can I harvest? No. It it's, um, seems like you need to find like individual trees and rocks to um, get resources from. Okay, that's five rocks harvested. Build a forge. Construct a forge by walking up to the unbuilt plot and adding materials. Here it is. So this is like a, a buildable plot that you can use. Inside the structures oh, wow. you build, you might find the means to heal your wounds, cook food, store items, repair worn weapons and armor, or forge new equipment. Each building serves different needs. Right. Okay. Uh, so craft equipment. I see. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I, it says I've got 10 attribute points to spend as well. Can I level up already? That would be good. Uh, constitution, wisdom, dexterity, and strength. It's funny because, like, I don't actually know um, what these do. Critical hit chance, attack speed percentage. Okay, so that's dexterity. Maybe I should try and make a sort of critical character, you know, skillful fighter that gets critical hits a lot. Oh, look, you can only increase them by a certain amount each time. Strength increases attack damage. Wisdom increases defense and god power. I think there is magic and stuff in this. Fire resistance, frost resistance, god power level, berserk time, and physical damage reduction. And then that's constitution for health and stamina. Okay, that is fine. Um, so how many have I got? Seven left. There we go. Uh, maybe one left. Okay, well, we'll that, put that on constitution. There we go. So flint, piece of flint, useful starting fires. Stone piece, chunk of stone used in crafting. Are these oh tree pitch I got from the trees as well. Alright. That is fine. So crafting workstations. Uh oh okay. These are the things I can craft. That's fine. I can make a hunting spear. Seems like that's it. There's the grand hammer of wood recipe that we found, but it seems like we can't craft it yet. We need leather scraps to craft it. Okay. Seems like does like 21 attack or damage or something. This, this all sounds good. Bandages, use it, you can craft using tree pitch and cloth scraps. Leather harness, so you make your own armor as well. And then a campfire. Build and place this to warm yourself up. So is temperature and thing in this as well. Wow, they're going like quite full on survival. Shall I make a hunting spear for now? All we need is wood. We don't even need metal. <laughs> it looks like a metal spear. Let's uh, do it. There we go. So now we've got a spear and a sword. Um, I think that's like the only thing we can make apart from the campfire, but we've got the forge here. Skills. Ah, here are our skill trees. Okay. Oop. I just clicked to go to the next screen. <laughs> So, oh, this is my quests. Okay, so repair equipment. Interact with the nearby whetstone to repair all items in your hotbar and currently equipped armor. Repair your equipment at the whetstone. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, I just wanted to look at the skills. So skill points one. All right. Sonic blast. Scream in a rage, staggering and dealing 50 damages, damage to enemies. Uh, endurance. Invigorate. So you've got like, yeah, active and passive skills that you can use. Berserk. Um, how do I? Ah, oh, this is really weird. I don't. I'm not sure how to. Oh, I can use the mouse wheel to scroll up and down here. Okay. So let's see. 
Chain Lightning. Wow. Must worship Thor. Oh, yeah, I did read this. Must Here, here we go. Odin's unkindness. <laughs> Must worship Odin. So, yeah, you can... Um, you end up worshipping one of the Viking gods. What's this? Denounce the gods. Oh, or not worshipping one of them. So you can denounce them at level 10, it seems. And then it means you cannot worship a god, but you get these other these other skills. I see. All right. So can I upload any? Vampiric attack. I mean, upgrade any. Cost one skill point, but requires level four. Melee attacks will restore 5% of damage dealt as hit points. Uh, okay, so I can get these ones. These are all ones that I can get. So Invigorate increases your health regeneration by five times for four seconds while fed. Okay. Endurance uh, reduces stamina use by 20%. Sonic Blast, that's that scream one. Um, why don't we try and get really good at combat? and get some passive skills that are going to help us with our combat. Let's try that. Um, so increases your health regeneration by five times while fed. That sounds really good. I'm going to get that. Oh, how do I do that? Oh, right click. Okay. No, it still doesn't work. I don't know why. It costs one skill point, which I've got, and it requires level one. I'm assuming I'm level one. Oh, hold right click there we go so i've learned that i will now regenerate health five times faster when i'm fed right hunting spear basic spear that is very interesting here we go nice i never use spears in games apart from like i'm playing games like mountain blade and you're on horseback with a lance and stuff so we've got to use this whetstone to repair stuff hold e all equipped weapons and armor have been fully repaired. Open the nearby chest by standing next to it. Okay. So far, so standard RPG, but with um, crafting stuff. All right. Salvage your rusty sword. Salvaging refunds raw materials. That's good to know. How do we do that? Open your inventory by pressing I, then press and hold left click and right click to salvage. All right. So here's the rusty sword. Oh, that's quick. You could do that by accident quite easily, I think. That's why it's both mouse buttons. All right, craft a hammer. Ooh, crafting. You can craft items using recipes you've discovered through leveling up or exploring the world. Recipes consume their ingredients and may require a nearby crafting station. A campfire can be used to cook more filling meals out of ingredients such as meat and mushrooms an anvil may be required to craft weapons and armor with improved defense and damage some items can be salvaged for raw materials hold left click and right click together while hovering over an item in your inventory to salvage it okay sounds good i do like crafting i know loads of people have got sick of it over like the last 10 years but uh you know it's in every game now every game has to have crafting uh, so craft a hammer, okay. But yeah, I quite like games where you can completely ignore it if you want and just buy stuff as well. I think that's quite good. Okay, made a hammer of wood, the grand hammer of wood. Um, so that does like 21 damage. I'm assuming that's damage. What does my sword do? Attack damage 12. Okay. Sorry, not sword, my spear. So we got the hammer build a seer hut use raw materials to construct the seer hut okay so we're gonna use the axe again let's just check the hammer oh look at that that is a huge mallet wow that is that is very big <laughs> uh, okay so we need raw materials for the seer hut wood pieces 17 slash two okay it, i guess that means it takes 17 wood pieces and we've got two let's get on with that yeah. oh no wait that's wrong <laughs> um uh, we already had enough and i'm building it right here apparently huh i'm 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 inside the oh here we go get out <laughs> so here's the seer hut build 
hold E. I think I left some wood on the ground over Sturdy there. Sturdy hut. Though you know not of your past, it is clear you have not forgotten your talents. This is as I had hoped. It is not by chance that I selected you. Nice. In life, you were a loyal Jarl who died not in battle, but of the plague. Mm. An unbefitting a fate for a thane such as yourself. You belong in Valhalla, not else frozen underworld. Nice. Do not worry, mortal. In time, I will help you fill in the blanks of your past. But for now, we must focus on preparing you for the journey ahead. I, Heimdall, will be your guide. There is someone here that I want you to meet. Let's use this. Okay. So, Hafdan the Seer, he just appeared out of thin air. Accept tribute. Warrior reborn, I am Hafdan, Seer of Wotenkeld. Oh what's left of it. Thank you for rebuilding this sacred domicile. I sense you are charged with points of Asgardian energy. A gift from Heimdall. Perhaps you should look within and see which of your tributes you wish to enhance with this energy. Oh, okay. Level and attributes. We've already done this, haven't we? This is all fine. Uh, we, yeah, we've leveled up. You must allocate these points evenly to raise all the faculties equally. <laughs> it's kind of or funny. channel several points into one area to when, specialize. When like, a character in the game it talks is your about like, choice. skill points and things. As you reach new levels of experience, Rather than, like, you the will narrator be rewarded or something. yet more points of Asgardian energy. Do not forget to assign them to your tributes each time you level up. Choose wisely, as energy is signed cannot be returned. When you are satisfied with your statistical improvements, a seafaring vessel recently ran aground not far from here. Please investigate. I fear your arrival may have revealed this sanctuary to the world. Okay. So let's check. Do I need to level up again? No, we've already done it. Okay, that's fine. Um... I wonder, we won't be able to cook anything at a campfire, will we? I was thinking of that health regeneration bonus we'll get when we're well fed. But, uh, yeah, what's this? Blessings and bloodlust. That sounds interesting. I guess we'll find out later. Um, crafting recipes. Do we, we, we can make a campfire. I wonder if we can put that down anywhere. Probably. Just looking for food here, but it doesn't seem like there is anything. Okay, well, let's go and find the beached ship. <clears throat> um, I quite like the graphics, you know, for, uh, I'm assuming it's not, this is not like an extremely well-known developer. I'm not even sure what their name is. Sorry about that. <laughs> should, have, should have checked that first. Just looking at that, the way that pot is placed on the, on the pillar there, it's kind of weird. Um, and, but anyway, I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, here we go. Combat maneuvers include light attacks, heavy attacks, blocking, and dodging. Okay. So light attacks can be blocked, right-click, or dodged, space, and the movement buttons to prevent damage. Initiating a block consumes stamina and prevents its, re its regeneration. Okay. Blocking before you're about to be hit with a normal attack causes a parry, leaving your enemy vulnerable to attack. Dodging consumes stamina. Use your dodge before getting hit to avoid damage. Okay. Um, what's this? Heavy attacks, left control. That's a strange choice, but that's that's fine. We'll get used to it. Are slower and consume stamina, blah, blah, blah. Uh, heavy attacks break through blocks and parries. Okay. They can only be dodged to avoid damage. So we're going to have to pay attention and learn what a heavy attack looks like. Failing to dodge or block a heavy attack results in a prolonged knockdown. Attackers, oh, gl they glow red when preparing a heavy attack. Okay, that is fine. Critical hits do more damage and are indicated with a yellow sword icon. Okay, so I increased my dexterity quite a bit in the hopes that I will get some criticals. Critical hit chance can be increased using better weapons, armor, and dexterity points. Okay. Some attacks may break blocks and are indicated with a red hammer icon. Okay. Yeah, this sounds pretty standard. Uh, status effects as well. That all sounds good. Yeah. I'd like to do some uh, heavy attacks with this. Oh, Thrall Yarl. OK, 
okay, he's a thrall, and he's a Jarl. Or maybe he's the thrall of a Jarl. <laughs> Look at that. This is great, this hammer. I don't normally use hammers in games, so it's quite fun trying one out. Look at this. I'm going to dodge him. Hang on, let's dodge. Ooh, there we go. Quite fast when I need to be. Oh, okay, I've been hit, but he didn't do much damage. Let's do another heavy attack and get him. Oh, yeah. What was that? Did he add, like, a loot? Oh, no. <laughs> I thought he dropped, like, a, a loot, you know, the musical instrument, but uh, it's bandages in a sack. And he had a wooden club. Probably not very good. Not as good as our massive mallet. Where? I wonder if there's stealth. I hope. I kind of hope not. Right, I got battered just then. That was really bad. Oh, I'm so slow getting up. I did get bandages. Oh, wow. Reviving. Huh? Okay, I'm not sure what that reviving countdown timer was. All right, well, that was quite tough. Um, it seems like... Oh, look, the rusty sword is back. Let's just... Uh, hang on. Go to the inventory and salvage it. May as well. There's that club. Um, 13 attack damage, 21 attack damage, and the spear is 12. Hmm. We have got bandages there. Okay. So that's, that's good to know. I've got a yellow bar at the bottom of the screen, but I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's my experience. Oh, yeah. I've got a shield as well, but I can't use it. I can parry like that, though. Okay. Let's go back to that guy and get rid of him. Oh, they're both back. Oof. Now this is called... Oh wow, I knocked a tree down. What happened there? Was that magic? Um, this is called Decapitation Edition. Oof. So hopefully there's going to be some decapitations that we'll see. Oh, oh, he parried it. He was fast. I thought that was going to be his fatal mistake. Oh, oh wow. I jibbed him. To his treacherous designs. Only in death do Loki's thralls prove useful. When their bodies fall, so too may useful items. Right. Now return to Halfden and tell him what happened here. That other guy is still there. He's still alive. All right, let's use a bandage. Yes, that worked. Okay. Um, I'll just get this other guy because there's a chest over there as well. I'm going to do a power attack on Oh, oh wow. Look at that. This hammer is good. It just... Oh, there's his leg. Yeah, he got completely jibbed in one hit. That's amazing. I mean, he was already wounded from the last time we fought them. Um, okay. Oh, what are those? Oh, runes. Great. I like runes, just in general anyway. Runes are powerful consumable items. Use them to give yourself an edge in combat. Find them throughout the world or craft them yourself using a rune forge. Rune of Health, Rune of Berserking, activates your bloodlust. Okay, that's good. Rune of Teleport, teleports you forward a short distance. Currency for fast travel in Midgard. Okay. Different runes can be crafted at Rune Forges. This is great. This, this game seems to have kind of gone under the radar a bit, sort of slipped past the uh, the wider gaming conversation online, that's for sure. I haven't really seen it mentioned anywhere. There's his head. I knocked his head off with the hammer. That's great. Um, he had a, a great sword, that guy, didn't he? But I don't know if he dropped it. I don't think I don't think they always drop their weapons. So do you just activate these runes then? Salvage to receive a stone piece and animal blood. Interesting. I guess maybe you... Yeah, you you use them. Wow. We'll try that soon. Um, so let's go back to Half Dan the Seer. It's half Dan, not Full Dan. Oh, we got quite a lot of things. Of not not very good um, draw distance. That's my fault because I've just left it on medium settings. But maybe for the next episode of this, we'll uh, turn them up. Oh, someone's here! Oh, we're under attack! And he's helping us out, half Dan. Oh, another jib. Okay, was there one more? Yeah, what's he doing? Don't know what he's doing. 
prepare your defenses a horde of enemies approaches right well thanks for telling me after it happened oh i missed oh he cut his arm off wow he, he chopped off his arm and he was still alive well done half dan don't mess with you uh tainted blood a human head grenade yeah i love that i've never heard of that before a throwable grenade oh, oh there's there's more there is a horde coming <laughs> Okay, I've got to pay close attention to my health this time. Oh, oh no! He broke my heart! That... I pay for that. Oh, I destroyed it myself now. Oh no. Wow, oh, I'll have to repair that with the wood and the stone. What if Half Dan gets killed? No, he's still alive. Stop smashing my buildings. Okay. <laughs> that one had that one had an arm cut off, but he didn't seem to mind. What's this? He dropped like a lizard. Another horde of enemies is coming as well. All right. I'm trying to pick up this lizard. Yes. Oh, recipe cooked lizard. Okay, we can cook it. So, where are these? Why are there so many hordes of enemies? We're only on normal. Let's talk to him. Thrall. Uh, I suspected as much. Some have not the will to resist Loki's and There is another horde coming, though. Others might if they tried, but choose to serve the traitor anyway. My advice, slay them all. Let hell sort them out. I believe the men you encountered were but scouts. Here they come. <laughs> do not report back, and all will follow. Indeed, oh, I'm nearly dead. I oh. approaching now. Wow, the combat is so... Um... Prepare yourself. Defend <laughs> he this talks structure. so slowly. And it's all already happened by the time he gets to the end of the sentence. So, horde defense. Hordes of enemies may attack settlements while arriving in waves. Hordes will try to destroy buildings, kill villages, and demolish the central statue. That's why they went for that statue thing. If structures are damaged or destroyed, they must be repaired before they can be used again. Many villagers will respawn in the world after some time if they are killed. If the statue is destroyed, the horde event will fail. Well, I will fail the defense against the horde. Um, successfully defending a settlement from horde attacks may result in valuable rewards. Okay. Well, hopefully Half Dan won't get killed um, while we're on the way back. This rusty sword seems to respawn every time. That's quite good. And there's, there's a shield up here, isn't there? So if we get that, then maybe we can salvage the sword and shield. Now the fight's still going on. Let's make sure we... Oh! Damn it. They're all smashing the statue. Leave that statue alone. It's mine. There's more of them! Oh! There's loads! That guy was so slow. We got to be faster than these these heavy guys. More bandages. Oh, but I got the runes. That's the berserking rune. Oh, look at that! Chopped his legs off and off. Leave half down. And oh, they've smashed it. I'm berserk now, though. That's really made me angry. So we failed the horde event. Oh. Okay, they're all dead. Um, oh, but the statue comes back. Okay. It still says protect your settlement from the horde as well. So are there more coming? Yeah, Cooked right. mushrooms we got. Okay. <laughs> oh, crap, I can't believe I did, didn't uh, block that. Oh, no. Leave that bloody statue alone. They're good at blocking these guys. I'll give them that. Oh! I need to um, heal again. That's the last bandage. Okay, that was a heavy attack. I'm trying to distract them from the statue. It keeps... There's more coming. I don't understand this. Look how many there are! Have they killed half Dan as well? 
<laughs> an item is broken in your inventory. Wow, it really is Ragnarok, the uh, the huge battle at the end of the world. Um, all right, so I need to use the whetstone to repair that thing. So that's not going to happen because I think that building that the whetstone is in got destroyed anyway. <laughs> I could try using a different weapon, like, say, the spear. Um, what does this do? Hang on. Let me check the runes that I've got. Um, the rune of berserking, which I used. Rune of teleport. Um, rune of health. Restores health. Okay, that's good to know. Hmm, all right. Well, we'll try the spear. Can't use the shield with this, but I can parry with it. Um, I wonder how many waves this horde will have. Quest failed. Right, so what happens now? <laughs> There's a thrall running away. Oh, they're all leaving. No, half Dan's chasing them out. Oh my god, look how many there are. Oh! Oh, this is bad. Oh! Just need one more hit on this guy. Got him, I chopped something off him with the spear. <laughs> I should use a healing room. Ah! Oh, I did it just before I got hit, so I'm not dead. Quick, get out the way. He gets up so slowly. I'm hoping that, you know, later in the game we'll be able to. Uh, hang on, I need this. Improve our speed at recovering from being knocked down and stuff like that. Really hope so. Half Dan is not dead. Good. These, they just don't stop coming, this, these hordes. Oh, come on. <laughs> Knocking trees down. Oh no! Been slashed. Look at him. While he's like messing around. <laughs> they sort of bits come off him like, like mad. I'm going to use another berserk rune. Oh, I was blocking then for sure. Got hit again. Oh, no. Dodged it. Oh. Look at this. How can I protect the statue? Okay, quest failed. I I'm not quite sure because it what's going on because like I keep failing this quest over and over again, but it doesn't seem to do anything when I fail it. it doesn't seem to like have any effect on the game. Oh. Oh no! This really is hell. This really is the end of the world. All right. Um, let's try again. Uh, I can't craft anything, can I? Because I need to do it. Um, I can craft bandages with tree pitch and cloth scrap. Okay, so that's one bandage. Um, I did get that human head grenade. Uh, yeah, unreliable, rarely delivers results and smells bad. Um, Okay, well, let's just <laughs> try it anyway, because who knows. And then this lizard, how do I eat this? Use it. I think I ate it. That should mean that I am now regenerating my health five times as fast. We've got an arrow, which is no use. Uh, okay, so we'll we'll try throwing the... Oh, what just happened? I think we ate the lizard. Okay, that's good. So, I'm going to try throwing that human head grenade at them. Oh, Horde is always approaching. Uh, okay, hope we can survive this. Right, let's use it. Hang on, how do I throw it? How do I... Huh? I don't know how to throw it. Hang on. Let's check the settings. There must be a throw button. Kill self. <laughs> it's like if, you, if you've really had enough, uh, if you can't take the, the endless killing over and over again. Um, throw pull is Q. Maybe it's that. Okay, let's try Q. Right, okay, that was it, uh, but things have gone very bad. Uh, <laughs> OK, 
Okay, one one killed. I've got I've got he healing bandages. We'll use them. Oh, God. there's just so many. Surely it can't. This must be some kind of bug or something. It's, this is normal, normal difficult. Oh, there's more. There's more out here. I can't believe it. Uh, and look at this. I mean, is there any point defending the statue because it just respawns again, along with all of them? Oh, there goes my other house. <laughs> Maybe I've leveled up and I can spend skill points. <laughs> that didn't kill him. At least Half Dan seems to be immortal. Can I do different attacks? I don't know. Okay, I'm sort of holding my own a bit better now. Oh. I'm trying to do quick attacks with the spear because they've <laughs> because they've mostly got heavy weapons. <laughs> this guy's lost an arm and he's running away. Just kill him. Okay, failed again. Maybe this is like the tutorial so I can just fail this as much as I need to. Come on, come on. Oh, I need to remember to dodge as well. Come on, go. The, the statue is back, so that's fine. Oh, I've got half my health left. I think I'm berserk though. Look at that. Am I doing like, oh no, this is really bad. Check my inventory, maybe I picked something up that I can have, I can eat the uh, mushroom. There we go, cooked mushroom. That's tainted blood. Some gods demand blood sacrifices. Um, so I'm still level one. I can't spend any skill points or anything yet. Okay. Is my health regenerating? I can't even tell. I don't think it is. Now it says a horde approaches again. Maybe. Ah. Oh. Hmm. This is kind of odd. So I can't really do anything like get hold of any better weapons before I go back there because um, I can't do any crafting because they're in my little crafting station. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Maybe the hammer is better. I wonder if I can hit more than one at the same time with the hammer. What's this thing? I don't know. Oh! The hammer is slow, definitely. And this guy's got a spear with a much longer reach than the hammer. Half Dan never loses any health, though. It's good. Oh, he keeps chopping their arms off. Ah! Oh. Oh. I've got to dodge. Ah! Oh. That was more of them just showed up. Um. Okay. <laughs> uh, right. So let's let's turn it down. Let's turn the difficulty down to easy, because I I don't think this is I don't think this is how the game is meant to work right now. I've got I've just got a feeling that possibly we're not supposed to be getting these endless hordes. A horde of enemies approaches. Yep. Oh, are they are they arriving now? Maybe we can stop them getting in there. Oh, when you get knocked down, that's when uh, fun really begins for them because they just start wailing on you while you're getting back up. He's staggered. Let's get him. Oh, jibbed him. Oh. See, I'm just getting hit from all sides at once. And I can only hit one at a time. Oh, that was berserk mode going. <laughs> I just smashed my own building again. I think it keeps getting rebuilt, though. Oh, oh there's more! What was 
that? Leveled up, finally. Okay, well, you know what? Let's just level up right now and get a new skill and stuff. Uh, so I need to do better attack damage, definitely, and I need to be kind of more nimble on my feet. So a oh, one point. We got one point to spend. Okay, so, well, now I do 40 attack damage. Let's go to the skills. Shall we just do Invigorate again? Or maybe, actually, look, Sonic Blast, Scream in a Rage, um, Staggering and Dealing 50 Damage to Enemies in a 10-meter Cone in Front of You. Cool down 40 seconds. We've got all these guys in a huge clump. That is going to be useful. All right. I hope I can equip it. Drag. Oh, drag it to my hotbar. Yeah. No? Doesn't seem to work. Okay. Why? <laughs> Requires level three. So I can't even use it. I can learn it, but I can't use it. Oh, all right. Well, maybe if I kill like 20 more guys, level up. Oh. I think those are like um, experience points I'm getting. The little glowing thing. That's what you get for blocking an unblockable heavy attack. Right, the last one. Oh no, there's more! I'm never going to deal with all of them. Look how many there are. At least, actually, if half Dan is immortal, maybe he can just keep fighting the ones by the statue. Oh, he did a heavy attack. I didn't see him glowing red, though, like it said he would. Oh, I keep blocking. Um, can I heal? No. Oh, they have such long weapons as well, like the spearmen. And I'm not the most kind of agile. I'm not sure if it's my character being like level one or something, but the controls are not very smooth. I mean, it's hard to describe. They're not, oof, look at that. It, I'm not kind of, it's not like Assassin's Creed style combat. Let's put it that way, where you're sort of flowing from enemy to enemy. I did just get a load of like berserk damage on those guys though. Oh, look at that. I blocked and jumped. Okay, come on. Yes! And another one. Yes! No, I missed. They always block. Oh, look at that. Are they, and like, yeah, it just takes me so long to deal with one group of them that there's already another group arriving. Okay, well, one got killed and I got berserk damage. Let's use it. I've got to make use of it. Right, I'm almost down. Oh, oh I'm down. Let's see, I couldn't move then. The reason I got killed was I just couldn't move. Um, okay, we're going to go back. And we're going to get these guys. I refuse. I refuse to end the video without um, winning this battle. I mean, this is... Quest failed again. Okay. This is kind of... This could be what hell is like. I mean, it, technically, they said he's not in hell now. He's been pulled back to um, the world of the living to do this. But... Uh, this could be what hell could be like, couldn't it, for warriors? Just endless fighting and get feel every every cut and slash. And then when you get killed, you just respawn and have to do it all again. Okay, we got Berserk damage on. Oh, come on, get up, get up, you slow old man. I think maybe berserking happens when you get a critical on them. Okay, I'm doing really bad now. Almost dead again. Kill him. Get these experience points. This guy seems to run out of arrows every time I fight him. Okay, there's another group turning up. Ah, come on. Yes, human leg. <laughs> we could pick up the human leg. Just heavy attack everyone from now on. Tainted blood. Lizard. Oh, we could eat the lizard if we could get it. 
not sure how to like stop them from parrying. Look, this one's lost an arm again. Okay, we're almost, almost dead. Do what they do to me. Hit them while they're getting up. And this guy, stop it, right? Just stop. Jib you. Hey, I got slashed. I'm. I've got literally zero health, and this spearman is going to get me. I just know it. Ooh. Oh no, there's going to be a whole new gang of them coming now. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> if I could just get there before the gang shows up, um, then maybe... I've, how many How many of these like wooden shields have I got now? Like six or something from just respawning and picking them up. That's why I ignored it that time and running past it. Okay, come on. Here we go, look. Get a surprise attack on him while he's distracted. Was that another lizard? Yeah. Um, eat that. Now I should regenerate. Okay, is that half Dan? Yeah, look. Half Dan chops their arms off and they just stand there. Oh, <laughs> that looked a bit weird. Right, is that it? Is that it? Please? Just know I'm going to see them coming up the hill. Okay. Um, well, it still says a horde approaches. Get the human leg. Probably not much point using that as a weapon. Uh, yeah, I think another horde is on its way. Hang on. Oh, I can't hit him. Um, are they coming? I don't know. Accept tribute. Oh, he gave me a bandage, so he he kind of gives me items as tribute for being his his yarl. All right. So, well, I can hear a lot of footsteps in the snow, but they don't seem to be. The guys don't seem to be showing up now. Oh, is that one there? Look, it's a straggler. He's still alive. Come on then. You don't want to fight? All right, <laughs> that's fine with me. Knocked the tree down while I was at it, and that was a critical hit, I think. You handled that got. horde admirably. Oh, finally. Perhaps when all is said and done, the deeds of your second life will be enough to earn you a place in Valhalla after all. Mortal, Loki gifted this island to the Draugr warrior. Oh, the Draugr. Orion, but the land belonged already to old Wotenkeld. Go to the stone that marks the battle between Harim and Clan Wotenkeld. Okay. Well, um, let's. Uh, I think I think I've seen enough. To be honest, um, I'm hoping that uh, there's there's more to the game. We might come back to it. We might not. I'm kind of undecided, but it was fun to try out anyway. Um, yeah, I I got a feeling. Uh, they may be still working on this game, so we shouldn't judge it too harshly. But to be honest, that was a bit weird, wasn't it? The way, like, losing the statue just had no effect whatsoever. It didn't... It said I failed the quest, but the quest literally just carried on. Um, so it was kind of weird. Can I... Let's see. Before we stop, can I um, repair this? Yes, I can. Okay. Yeah, um, alright, so you can repair structures after they get destroyed. So that was Rune 2 Decapitation Edition. Um, thanks very much to the developers for providing the key for review. Um, it was pretty fun. I like the combat. The combat I could get used to, I think. Uh, not sure if we're going to come back to it and do another video, but if you're interested, it is out now on Steam. It came out yesterday, uh, so you can, yeah, go ahead and get it. Um, Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, give us a like. Um, remember to subscribe as well uh, to get updates. And also I stream on Twitch two times a week. It's twitch.tv slash nod to the strange. You can find us there. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a really good day and we'll see you next time.